Good morning, guys. So this morning we thought we'd take you on a little tour of our town, and we're going to start with our favorite place to have breakfast. The name of the place is Bagel Central, and um, it is, it's what it sounds like. It's breakfast, it's bagels, um, but everything is freshly made, and it's supposed to be New York style. I've never been to New York, so I don't know if it actually is, but it feels pretty busy in there to me, so I kind of like thinking it is. However, we're gonna go ahead and get breakfast and we're gonna show you what Bagel Central is all about. We got some coffee going on. I love coffee. I'm super excited for coffee. It's the favorite part of the morning is coffee. It just has to be good. And they have such good coffee. Mmm. So good. Coffee for everybody. Black. Black, no sugar, no cream, just nice. All right, guys, here is Adam got an onion bagel with what kind of cream cheese? Uh, green olive. Green olive cream cheese. I think the green olive is your favorite, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It actually has green olives in it. Like, it you does. You can see a piece of one in there. You can. Sorry, the footage is not and great actual, in the car. Like, has actual onions on the top it of it. Does. Too, it does. Can I get in there close and see it? Yeah, I can. Ooh, look at that. Yum. All right, and I got sweet cinnamon with blueberry cream cheese. Blueberry cream cheese is my favorite. I eat tons of it. it. I don't. I don't. I eat it all the time. This is one of the parks here in downtown. really nice walk-in path especially like uh, for Pokemon Go and any of those like type there's a lot of stuff that comes in down through here all these are maintained gardens it's adopted garden programs and they have like little placards everywhere it says who it's been adopted by so I don't know if they like donate money or if they actually send people out here to to do work on these, but it's every single little spot has a little place where people have donated money. Uh, it's actually really cool because they have like lights. I don't know if you can see them in the video or not, but there's lights uh, right here. Those are like lit up at night, so you can walk through here and it's all lit up. There's Jamie behind us. She's recording. It looks like they repainted the benches. They had, like, I know this one had Stephen King on it. Someone had painted him and his dog on it. It's a great little area. This is a good spot to show you guys, too. Like, we're in between. I'm gonna try not to step on any of the flowers or anything and just reach over. But if you look, there's a nice, like, cast iron fencing here that's cut on up. The stream, I saw the stream down there, and then if I turn immediately around to the statue, take a quick walk over here, you'll see that we're coming up on the same type of gateway or same type of gate gating system, all cast iron, and then on this side is another stream. They're actually the same stream. That's the Kanduska Extreme. It's also a, um, goes into the Penobscot, which is the tidal river. So it, the level of that stream goes up and down constantly. So it looks really low right now, but you can obviously, if you can see that 
the, you know, you can see the water run up to that point, so it's obviously dropping significantly since this morning. Hannibal Hamlin, the statesman diplomat. And citizen of Bangor. Um, so, <clears throat> the fire. Bangor had a really bad fire in 1911. Um, two people lost their lives, hundreds lost where they were living. I guess, from what I understand, um, Bangor had uh, fire experts come in here before 1911 and did a like survey, and they said that from where the, the fire started, which was on Center Street, um, that a really bad fire could start and spread from there and like wipe out the most of downtown. I'm shivering. <laughs> it's really cold. Uh, let's go stand in the, the sun. Sure, we can. <laughs> stand in the sun and talk about fire. <laughs> <laughs> So here's the, here I showed you guys how back there, if you look at the, you can see that it, it, there's one there, the grassy, and then there's another spot there, just as a reference point. But they come together right here. I'm actually gonna walk over to that bridge right there and I'll show you guys a little bit better. I like how they have all like the different paths and walking and all that, but that's right here, this little spot right here, that bowl. That's a focus, that's a, a gym for Pokemon Go, Charles of Howe. All right, so this is where you can kind of get a look at it. Large you know, stone in the middle with two gaps on each side. So, back to the fire. The fire of 1911 um, destroyed a lot of downtown. There were two people that lost their lives. Um, one was a firefighter, and then the other one was someone crossing uh, a street and got caught up in electrical. Um, so it destroyed most of downtown, uh, and they discovered that fire can jump uh, a stream, a river, Fire can jump a field, but for one reason or the other, I don't know exactly the reasoning behind it, but fire can't jump from a river with a small grassy area in another river, or streams for this matter. So the reason that it is designed this way, and uh, we're gonna be walking back through it up but the reason it's designed this way is to prevent another fire from down, like completely destroying um, all of downtown. So they built it where there's two canals for the stream that split, and um, there's a there's a park slash grassy area in between it, so that if there was ever another fire to start, there would be a very natural fire break uh, where they would only lose part of downtown. Uh, a couple of really quick facts about that fire. They, uh, the library lost, it was 70 or 90,000 copies of everything they had. Everything was, everything was destroyed. Um, Town Hall survived the fire, even though it was directly in the path. Um, and we're gonna, I'll show you when we go up by it, but there's only one building in downtown. All of these were built after 1911. Uh, there's only one that was built, um, or survived the fire. So I'll, I'll kind of, if I remember, I'll point that one out to you, but. That's probably like fun fact of the day. Um, I really find it super interesting and how they have this entire place built is a lot of fun. So, um, and like I was saying, if you, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but um, directly down there is um, the Penobscot. So this goes down um, all the way down to the Penobscot. And like I said, it is a title, so it goes up and down. And it's a really cool little spot in Bangor fun to walk. I'm glad he decided to do this with me because he's my best friend. 
He's super fun. And I really enjoy hanging out with him. So I'm glad that he does this with me. He humored me. He's on call this week. And that's really hard for him because it's like two weeks of work that doesn't stop. It's 24-7. Um, so this is his weekend that he's on call. So being up right now and not having enough sleep and sometimes that can be really, really challenging to be on call. So he's out here playing with me in the morning to film this video for you guys. And I just think that's really sweet. I thought you should know. Zillman Art Museum? University of Maine puts this on. I think they have some classes and stuff in there too. Or maybe it's just students going in, you know. Very cool sign. And that's the entrance to it when it's open. <clears throat> Not 100% sure when it is open. Still have to wear a mask to go inside. There's no... Oh, Tuesday... It's free admission. Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5. Fair. Was the only building to survive the initial fire is this one. That is the only still the same building standing from surviving the fire. Just cross the road there, and that's the same thing. Like, the, this is still split. It's all the, still the same canal with this in the middle. This is a fantastic little park. Another one of those, like, gardens for everybody. That's uh, called Lady Liberty, the statue that's coming, we're coming up on. People come out here and they'll sit here and eat food and... There's plenty of benches on the sides to kind of just rest your legs if you're out walking. I think it's got a name. Oh, Norbega Parkway. Oh, right. That's a cool little display. I love all the purple rocks with people's names on it. It says Eastern Maine Walk to End Alzheimer's. Bangor does a really good job maintaining this, all of the different. I see most mornings uh, they have this little buggy that goes around with a bunch of water in it. Love it. We're kind of getting to the beginning. Beginning because obviously the river or stream will come down through. I'll show you guys anyways. So this is the beginning of it. This is where, like, obviously you can tell this part right here is where they first started it, and um, then it goes down into, you know, sp splits this Kanduskate stream into two down through downtown.
Now there's typically, uh, I can sh usually show you, and I don't think I can, I don't know if it's open, but there, you see how there's orange over there. They've been doing construction because parts of the wall are falling out. And they had to come through and fix part of it this past year, so. I don't know how accessible it's gonna be. See how there's like those down there. I assume that they're gonna fix those this year. Because if not, it falls out and, you know, that's the jail up above it, so. Looks like the walking path is accessible, so I can walk down it briefly for you guys. Kandusky Extreme Trail. It does have the sign still, but it's not up right now. I just wanted to show you how it was split. There's also a bridge pretty far up. This path walks all the way to the bridge and then it walks you can you can cross that bridge up further. But I kinda just wanted to get to this point, show you guys the the beginning of the split. How that's splitting the stream. I'm gonna actually walk back across the street and then up towards the library. Um, just to kind of show you guys. The library is, is gorgeous. It actually used to, I want to say maybe four or five years ago. Could be shorter than that. I could be a little bit off. Um, they had to fully replace their roof. And it's copper. So the roof was, was green for the longest time. It was really cool. And then they had to come in with a very large... Um, a lot of donations, a lot of people came in and, and gave them money. Did you lose me? I was looking for you, but I saw your head pop up. I thought yeah, I that you just, had gone down I there. just walked down and showed the beginning of that split that I had been talking about. These are new buildings. Like, this is not a new building, but they just turned these into uh, very luxury apartments. <clears throat> they will typically hold a farmer's market here. I believe that's today. Must have had someone just come in. Uh, it smells very this new. This is brand new, guys. Like this is very new. Look, and here's their sign of what's going on. Everyone welcome. Drag, Drag queen, queen bingo. bingo. <laughs> Hosted by Priscilla Poppycock. Priscilla Poppycock. That's so cool. That is fantastic. I love it. <laughs> Birds and bones. Tattoo studio and art gallery. That's new. That's new too. Look at all the places. I was talking about that. I was talking about that. Um, the reason, like I was saying, that it's really cool and kind of sad at the same time because businesses that were barely hanging on before the pandemic um, died to the pandemic and um, has allowed new businesses and new people to kind of come in with new ideas and 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 rebuild and rebrand and and that kind of gives us more more new things, more to experience. So, taste of India. If you like Indian food, this is where you go. Very, very, very fast food. Um, ordered that one day through Grubhub and got it very, very quickly. This is the... <laughs> yeah, we discovered very much that we do not like Indian food. This is the main Discovery Museum. This is actually really cool. This is one of the rooms they have. I don't know... 
Yeah, it looks like that room's closed off, but this is a whole water feature room thing that they have that you can mess around with different. Oh, uh, this is the main Discovery Museum. Really good for kids. Um, I would say, I would say, well, no, obviously older than that. I would say somewhere probably infants aren't going to, but a kid that's up, up and running around. So you're talking probably three plus to somewhere around nine, 10, maybe 11. Maybe that's well, because you have some things upstairs that are more, um, interactive. Yeah. So they do have a little like restaurant fork and spoon eatery thing in here too. Ice cream, soups, and bread. Uh-huh. Whoopie pies. Whoopie pies. If you don't know what a whoopie pie is, it's like two pieces of cake and some pasta. You, you, yeah, you like, it, it's like taking a cake and making a, a, a sandwich out of the cake. We'll have to buy one for you sometime and show you what it's Oh man, that sounds awful. Birdhouse? Playhouse? It looks like a dollhouse. I'm not entirely sure. No, it's a dollhouse. It has small. Fairy house? You can put it up. It's a dollhouse. It's got furniture in it. Oh, yeah, and it has the open side. That is really pretty, guys. Oh my gosh, that's so great. Portland Pie Company, very, very good pizza and pub. So we talked about this. 1911 is when the, the fire was. This building was in 1928. So this is built 17 years after the fire. Was it one of the buildings that was lost? Yeah, I, this whole place was burnt. This whole place? All, everywhere we were standing, everything was burnt where it was. Look at this antique place, that's really cool. No, you can't. No. Not allowed to. I'm well, not the one that makes. I don't. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. You do not. I do not what? Make the rules right. You don't follow the rules either. What are you saying? <laughs> what? Why? Why are you saying I don't follow the rules? Uh, I want that. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Rocking pit. It's made in the '80s. Oh my gosh. Look at how cute that face is. It's oh not. My it's not cute. It's creepy. Oh no. It's a weird pig, man. Pig. It is a pig. It is very, very pig. It's probably, if not as old as me, but maybe a little bit older. Hey guys, Jamie from the editing room here. Uh, putting together the video and I realized that we didn't shoot an outro for our video. So here I am. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who is subscribed and following along to our adventure. Make sure you ding that bell so you don't miss an upload. And give this video a like because it does actually help us. Um, and please stay tuned. We have lots more videos coming your way. And I hope you enjoy. See you next time, guys. Bye.